And a state senator wants to see Nebraska return to a winner-take-all system when it comes to the electoral vote. The proposal would give all five electoral votes to a presidential candidate who receives the most votes. Newswatch 7 at 9, Sean McKinnon brings us testimony in tonight's report. Nebraska is one of just two states in the nation to split their electoral votes for presidential candidates. Senator Lauren Lippincott's bill would make Nebraska winner take all again after it changed in 1992. He says splitting votes dilutes Nebraska's electoral power and presidential candidates don't come because of it. However, we're a small state with only five electoral votes and we are no longer one of the few states to hold a primary. And when a presidential candidate does come to Nebraska, it's to Omaha. Lippincott says he wants more presidential candidates to visit rural Nebraska on the campaign trail. Why do you want this? Well, the, reason I, I, the reason I just said uh -huh. I'm a rural guy, come from 100 miles west of here. Is it because you, you want presidential candidates to come out there? But when asked by Senator Megan Hunt, would not commit to whether he thinks his bill would actually help. Do you think that passing LB 764 would result in more presidential candidates visiting Nebraska? Perhaps. Do you think that, though? It's very possible. Do you think that more candidates will be coming out to rural Nebraska under this bill? It could very well. Okay. Several people testified both for and against the bill. Supporters saying they believe Nebraska should join the rest of the country. Opponents saying a split electoral vote is representative. John McKinnon reporting, the only times Nebraska voters have split votes by district are in 2008 and 2020. District 2, which includes Omaha, went for former President Obama and President Biden, respectively breaking from the other two districts that went for the Republican nominee.